Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Once again, this is Tony from Dubspot in New York City on the corner of 9th and 14th. And today we've got a special thing to talk to you about. It is the new application for the iPad called Touchable. Now, if you own Ableton Live and you have an iPad, you're definitely going to want to get this app. This app gives you total control over everything in Ableton Live. It's super cool. So what we're going to do today is talk to you about how to get it up and running, what's cool about it, and some certain little points about it. Kind of a tutorial, kind of a review, but mostly just badassness from here at DubSpot. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about how to get everything set up. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, you're going to want to create a network on your Mac. Now this is going to be a little bit different on a Windows machine, but this is how it works on a Macintosh. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, create a network. Uh, Superchunk is my network, and I'm going to type in a five letter password. Hit OK there. And I just have to wait for it to turn on. You can see this uh, little uh, Mac icon come up in your radar there. And then on the iPad, I'm going to come over here and set my Wi Fi to the newly created Superchunk. I'm going to type in my password. Hit join. And then when it's done, you're just going to get a little logo up here on the left hand side. So now while we're waiting for that, we're going to go over here and uh, open up Ableton Live. And after Ableton Live is open, what you're going to want to do is open up your Touchable. Now, it's very important that you turn on your Wi Fi network first and then open up Live and Touchable. Uh, I've had some troubles where I opened up Touchable and then turned on my network and it didn't quite work out well. So if you do things in the right order, you'll be fine. So now, after I've got everything open, I'm going to open up my Touchable set that I created. Now this is just a set for this uh, demo. You can open up any set that you want. And once that's open, I'm going to open up the Touchable app on my iPad. Pretty fun stuff. Now. One thing on here you've got to remember is this number here on the touchable uh, application on the computer should match the number here on the app. If it doesn't, you need to type in the correct number on the app. Right. Once you've done everything, you hit connect and it will come up. So you can see on the computer I've got the AC kit, the 808 kit, air keys, keys, and send base. And I've got the same thing going on here with my iPad. AC kit, 808 kit, air keys, and send base. And you can see I've got my clips set up here already as well. I've got some clips that I made for this set, just a chill out little set. And the kits have the same names on the iPad. Now if you watch, if I rename it, if I'm just going to call this like uh, drum loop, it renames it on the iPad. So it's total integration between the iPad and uh, Ableton Live, which is pretty cool. 